Hi guys, um, welcome to today's fifth wheel living deals. So all these items, um, some of them I have right here with me and some of them we're actually using right now because as you can tell we're in our fifth wheel. We travel full time in a fifth wheel and these are items that you need to get your venture started. If you want to buy a camper, a fifth wheel, a motorhome, you're going to need these items. So first off, um, we have the Camco Taste Pure um, Walter, water filter. I don't know why I said Walter. Water filter. Um, so this is, this is great to have. People trust water in their city. You can, you cannot. It's, it's different. You never know. Um, I like to run it through this, um, especially just for our camper. The pipes and everything. And then I like to run my water that I'm going to drink through a Brita another filter. But this is very easy to set up. Some tape on there. So um, every one comes with one of these. It's like part of like a water hose. Every one comes with that. And then twist it off. And you just put this in here or vice versa, whatever your um, hookup is. And then this side, you're gonna unplug this side too. And then there's another screw port. And this is, hooks right up to your, um, where your water comes out, your city water hookup. And I put mine on the outside, um, cause if you connect it to your camper, like ours, we have, um, like, um, what is it? It's a, it's own compartment. So we have our city water and then we can rinse out all our tanks and it's not really bendable right there. So we hook this up outside. Um, but right now it's 46% off. So stock up cause we did, we like to change ours, um, every month. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, so it says, it gives you a little spot to put, like, your date first used. Um, but it's, it's awesome. We love ours. Um, next we have the elbow. So the Camco elbow, mine is hooked up outside right now currently two or so sewer hose so it's an elbow and you're literally you screw it into the sewer holding tank because um when you are in a campground or um definitely not boondocking because i know some places there don't have sewer hookups or water hookup but here we have a sewer hookup and water hookup so our sewer hookup it's literally flat on the ground so our hose we would have to bend it so here, if you have the elbow, it helps that your black water, your gray water, your galley tank, all goes into that holding tank, which is very nice in the ground. And then you don't have to worry about it like spilling out or anything. And it, it works well, very secure. Um, this is 27% off right now, which is nice. Next, we're gonna go to our pure water drinking hose. So this is actually a funny story, not really, but ours is hooked up outside right now. And we bought a blue hose first. And when we bought the blue hose, we are in Texas right now, the like Texas heat and sun completely like blew out our hose. Like we had three major blowouts and water was just leaking everywhere. And then I went to get water out of the sink and it just tasted like plastic. It was horrible. Um, if you want, I made a TikTok on it. Um, go follow us at The Davis Voyage. And I made a whole TikTok about how you should stick with a white hose. And a lot of campers everywhere have white hoses. Um, but right now, the 50 foot is 25% off. 
ours is a 25 foot because our connections are very close together but um it's always nice which i wish i would have done was just to buy bigger because then you can just always ravel it up and if you don't need it but now like if we go to another camp spot that the length is longer we're gonna have to buy a whole nother hose which kind of sucks but the this hose i have no complaints about and it has not blown out on us like the blue hose um next up is our campco rhino flex rv sewer hose fitting so in the camping world um some only have one holding tank well they have a black water and a gray water water excuse me but it only comes out to one area so you'll have your two um levers you have to pull to release your tank but it will come out one pipe ours we have our gray our black our black comes out one pipe and then our galley comes out another pipe in the back of the camper so to get all those hoses and all those tanks to empty out into our sewer um, holder in the ground, we have to have this Y connector. And it's pretty cool like how you can just, they made something that to connect all your hoses together. But if you are in our situation and you need more hoses definitely, or you have more hoses and need a Y connector, definitely get one of these these will help you in your journey and then because all your stuff in your tanks has to go into the sewer you cannot leave your like gray water out and let it run in the ground and the dirt and wherever you're at that's disgusting you need it all to go in your sewer tank so definitely get you one of these and it's 16 percent off right now which is good next is um the tst max which i have some right here so this um you put into your tank for your toilet treatment um you don't want to mix it with any other chemicals though if you do this chemical stick with this chemical if you do something else do that chemical but you never want to mix because something can happen probably in your tank that's not going to be good um this for holding tanks you just add two ounces for every 40 gallons. So um, in your spec sheet for your camper, it will tell you the sizes of your tanks. And then, um, but for larger tanks or temperatures over 85, so here in Texas, um, pretty sure it's like, it's 84. So we're almost 85, but it's a black tank. And of course, if we're just sitting baking in the sun, it's gonna get hot. So you wanna add, two to four ounces as needed more so if you have a 40 gallon tank it says two ounces for every 40 gallons but when it's hot out you want to add another two to four so you want to add like four to six ounces in your holding tank and it does smell pretty good um a trick with this though i've learned is to so you want to put um water with it too obviously um but you want to fill up your bowl in your um toilet and then you put this in and then you flush it all together you don't want to just open up your toilet at the bottom and you're gonna have your hole and just dump it in there you want to make sure it all flushes down together and then add some extra water in there too uh, but it literally shows you directions on how to do everything and they even come in a smaller a smaller um size I think it's like this big and they also come in like tablets and stuff but this one's on sale right now 15% off and it even shows it has like these are all ounces so if you are not good at eyeball in ounces it will tell you like 14 ounces or sorry 104 96 88 like it counts down for you which I thought was pretty nifty but we do that every time after we empty our tanks we put that in. Next up is um, a sewer hose. So we bought this one. It's only five foot long at our old campground, but I actually have it hooked up now. 
and it's a sewer hose. I did not want to bring it in here. Um, we had it five foot because the way our campground was set up, the last one, so like I said, we have two outs from our tanks. So we needed that Y connector. So then we had this five foot because literally the sewer holding tank in the ground was here. And then our first tank empty, the lever, was right here. So it was very close. And But we had a Y connect our galley tank because it was so far away too. And it was just, we had a 10 foot hose there and it was just way too much and it was all scrambled up. And one thing you don't want to do is scramble all your hoses up. You want a straight shot right to where it's going or it's a mess. And you don't want sewer, black water, gray water, galley water. You don't want it sitting in your lines. You want it all to get emptied out. So the five foot is really nice if it's you're close right to it or you have the 10 foot one and you need an extra five foot to get to that holding tank in the ground but it's 16 percent off right now which is nice because rv stuff can get expensive so we have the wheel chalks up next um they're 10 percent off right now they come in different sizes ours are actually <laughs> under our camper right now our wheels are chalked up right now because you always want to chalk your wheels when you park and you got your slide outs and you're you're making this your home chalk your wheels up because anything can happen um they are so light though and they're, they're the perfect size and they actually have um traction pad built in and um they're instructed for heavy duder duty duty uh rubber to withstand all climates so like i said we're in texas and we had major heat and then we actually had really cold like below freezing and these things were perfect they didn't like crack like because of plastic they held up their um the material held up very strong and they're 10 percent off right now but you definitely need chalks when you are getting ready for your adventures um Next is our surge protector. Like I said, it's hooked up right now because we are in our camper. Um, you definitely need a surge protector. If you don't have a surge protector, major, major electrical problems can go wrong. And this surge protector right now is 15% off and we've had it since we started our journey in June. Knock on some wood. It's held up great for us and it's for 50 amp so you'll know also when you buy a camper you have 30 amp and 50 amp ours is a 50 amp it's waterproof and it will tell you when something is wrong like there's a bunch of lighting on it um has red and green and you want obviously all green if there's red in there then there's a problem and you need to figure it out um but that is 15 percent off right now which is pretty good because surge protectors are expensive uh next up is our camco rhino flex 20 foot sewer hose kit so this was one of the first items we bought but it's hooked up right now um this also came with an elbow but um we like to have extra stuff on demand so definitely take that advice right there you want your backup stuff so if you see something on sale or deal go get it for your camper because anything can happen at any time and you might be in the middle of nowhere and you might not know how to get something or where to get something so this sewer flex hose i believe comes with two yeah so two 10 foot hoses so like i said if you have those two separate outlets you're going to need two one hose this way one hose this way your y connector can go right into your elbow but if you don't, if you're not that close, then you're going to need another hose, which you could have that five foot hose to get to that elbow. But this um, also has covers, which was cool for the ends of your um, sewer hoses. So when you're done with them, which our next product I'll show you, definitely get to rinse out your sewer hoses because that is, you don't want no stinky sewer hoses in your storage when you're traveling. But it was, it was really nice that it came with little caps for your sewer hoses. And it's 33% off right now, a whole kit. 
So this is the hose I was just talking about, 33% off. It's a 10 foot clean out gray and black water. So it comes with a little thing. Um, I didn't want to bring it in here because this is what we clean our sewer hoses out with. And it's pretty gross that I would be carrying that in here. But it just hooks up right to your line. You hook it up right to your water. The water that's coming out of the ground, the camper water, the campground water. You hook it right up to that. You put it right onto your hose. So this is like the last thing we do is flush out our hoses when we're ready to move. Um, you hook it right on and then it has a little nozzle on the black attachment to the hose, to the sewer hose. You just screw it on and then you're gonna flip the thing and then water will come through and then you can flip it off and then undo it. So we look, um, when we flush out our sewer hoses, we hook it up and then we hold up the sewer hose to drain it into the sewer in the ground. And we'll look at the elbow because the elbow's clear and then we'll keep watching to see, make sure all that nasty black and gray stuff gets out. And you wanna make sure it's clear water. Once it's clear water, your line's pretty much clean. And then ravel it up. And we have a little tote that we put ours in because you don't want your drinking water hose and your sewer hose is all mixed up. So that's a pretty good deal, 33% off to get that. Um, it's definitely, you don't need it if you don't wanna rinse out your sewer hoses, but it's gonna get stinky if you don't, because that's your black water and your gray water just sitting there. Next up is our levelers. So I actually have some right here. So we have a lot of these. Um, we have like four packs. So these levelers are pretty awesome. Our other campground we were at was on a slope. So these came in handy. So this is, um, if you're on like rock, if you're on blue rock, dirt, a slope like we were, you want to make sure your camper is level. So to make it more level and easier, you get level blocks and they stack pretty easy. I'll show you. So you can stack them on top of each other. You can stack them like this. I've seen a couple of people do that, but you can stack them however you want, but these are to help your camper get leveled. Um, and they've held up great for us. We've used them at, this is our third camper. Yes, third campground now. Um, and we've used them on, every time actually, we used them at our first one because we were on Blue Rock and then our second campground, we were on a slope, like an incline like this. It was bad. So you had to get your front up to get leveled. So we used these and we also used cinder blocks because we didn't have that many of these. And this is basically what a cinder block looks like. So it was easier to use the cinder block and then these on top of the cinder block. And then here we're on a slab, concrete slab. So we just use them in the front because it's like a little dip and um, instead of having our jacks all the way out, like insanely all the way out, we put a couple under there. But these are 7% off. It's a little deal, but um, it's better than nothing to save some money. Um, next, and I think this is our last deal. Yes, is our Camco RV brass inline water pressure regulator. So like I said, the camping world, you need a regulator, a pressure regulator for your water. The pressure, I think, I can't remember, there was a sign up at the store that told you you needed one of these because um, the pressure was too high here. And if you just hook up a water hose to the city water hookup to your camper, you can blow out your pipes because the pressure is way too high. So you put one of these in and it regulates um, your pressure for you um they are really nice to have the only thing is this one doesn't have a gauge so it doesn't tell you but our pressure has never been outrageously high but this is the best pressure we've had in a campground the other campground we could um didn't have that much pressure but with that pressure um regulator 
and your filter that I showed you earlier, you want to hook the pressure regulator up bef right directly to the campground source, the water source. Hook up your pressure regulator, then your filter. Because if you put the regulator on the other side, the pressure of the campground might be too strong and it can blow this up actually too. So you wanna put it in the front of this and then you'll have your hose. But it's really fun and I'm happy I got to find you some deals that we have and that we own for our camper. And I hope you guys enjoyed everything and have a great day.